Welcome to the OSR's podcast. I am Mitt Mad Cow. How's it going on, boys? Rakes, as always. And hello, it's Vice And today is our first ever breaking news podcast. This news just hit. We're recording it on the day. Are we going to upload it on the day? Is that what yeah, we're Yeah, I'll for? upload it today if we can, you know? Yeah, yeah, either so, today or tomorrow. We'll get it out as fast as possible. And we're not going to... Before we get into the news, we just want to tell you that we are prepared to do this every time something big hits. And if you like breaking we'll news, all right, make sure we hit 600 likes, dude. All right, right now. Real quick, go down below, subscribe, like, leave a comment. Who's the sexiest, dude? Probably Rakesy. Look at him. <laughs> well, I, I think I have the sexiest avatar. I'll, g I'll give myself a, my little dude down <laughs> there with the green hair and slick hair. Bro. Look at that. Well, you were in charge of the art, so I'm pretty sure you slid her in <laughs> money to make that guy an absolute chat. I'm I, gave, honest I gave her an enormous tip, dude. That's why the PayPal got banned. Like, we went over the... <laughs> our funds oh. are gone, boys! Bro, in that... <laughs> right, yeah. Our PayPal's gone for this uh, podcast. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll talk more about it later. We gotta get to the breaking news, right? But yeah, you got art. If you guys, if you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a like. Whenever new content comes out like this, we're gonna try to cover it, like Min said. And um, basically today, Jagex have announced officially that they're going to be releasing Fresh Start Worlds, okay? Now, this is something, there's actually, there's been rumors floating around of this <clears throat> for months, okay? Uh, there's been content creators that have made content on this, basically, uh, uh, what's it called, Derek? Uh, Aren't they um, bigger content creators than the people in old school? Like, and yeah, they're yeah, making yeah. content on this? That's yeah, huge. yeah, so Callum Upton's one of them. Uh, Josh Strife Hayes. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. But those two dudes, they also run a podcast. It's more of a broad gaming podcast where they cover many different games. And um, they were basically... I can't think of what the word is, man. Not specifying. They were speculating on yeah. what this could potentially mean. Okay. <clears throat> and it kind of blew up in our community because um, there was speculation. There was basically information that Callum Upson had from former JMods, which painted this in a potentially horrifying way for old school RuneScape players. Um, so yeah, this is quite an interesting thing. There's been a lot of talk around this. There's been many videos done about it. But yeah, basically, Jagex are releasing Fresh Start Worlds. So what we're going to do first is we're going to read over this blog post. And uh, it's really strange because this actually isn't a blog post, but this is actually a post that Mod Easier has made on the RuneScape forums, which is um, a really interesting way of like spreading this information. I, have they done that before, guys? Uh, yeah, but like not often. It's not like always a, you know. I didn't Something even know there were threads. I'm gonna be completely honest here. I um, yeah, the I just forums are dogs. the forums are like fossils, man. It's rarely <laughs> used, but yeah, know, once in a while they do they do post something on there. It, it's really strange, I, and I will say so. This got brought to my attention probably two or three months ago. I think it was where one of my good friends, uh, he got like invited to do a qu quiz or like some fill out a form or something for Jagex, like the, you know, it was a general interest form. And it asked if he would be interested in basically this that's right in front of us. So anyways, without any further ado, let's get into this. So, you may have seen the joint announcement for Fresh Start Worlds uh, with RuneScape FSW launching on September the 12th and Old School RuneScape in October. We aren't ready to properly dive into the Fresh Start Worlds for Old School. Uh, you'll hear more about this next month. Uh, but we want to take this opportunity to answer some of the questions we think you may have for us. So, what are the Fresh Start Worlds? Uh, these, this is a way uh, to play old school RuneScape that you love, but on fresh worlds with a fresh economy, fresh high scores, on a level, f on a level playing field. Uh, it isn't a new game mode like Leagues of Deadman, and there's no content rewards or anything like that. So, effectively, imagine what old school RuneScape was <laughs> when it first came out. It's that. That's what they're doing, and it's a separate server from the main game. Okay. That, that's at least where we're at, so at the start of it. At least Yo, before, it. Yeah. before we go yeah. deeper, like when you guys were hearing about mm -hmm. Fresh Worlds, what what were you thinking? Like just from that part there, because when I read that, I was thinking like, oh, this is gonna be for the sweatiest players, the the skillers, the clanners, the swappers. That's what first came to my mind when I read that just first bit. So I already knew what it was gonna be. You <laughs> so, did? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I already, I, I already knew. What about you, Ray? 
Uh, I mean, honestly, I didn't, I didn't really think it was connected to like the whole, you know, uh, rumors that uh, some other creators were saying that there might be a completely new RuneScape game. I thought, because like, you know, saying that there's a completely new RuneScape game and then saying that, and now knowing that they're trying to just have like a new, a new kind of like temporary server, which relates to the main games, which is uh, essentially the same game, right? Just, just for the moment, it's like split up and then. You'll rejoin back into it later. It's like it's not the same, right? So I didn't obviously well, connect yeah. the thoughts, right? So gonna, when I looked, we're gonna cover all that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I, you know, just saw it, mm -hmm. saw this today, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" You know, I just I didn't expect anything because like yeah. I just saw it like boom today, you know. I, and I then got I looked, excited, I looked this, bro. I'm excited. I got so excited. All right, like, let's, let, all right, let's finish let's finish this, dude, before we start screaming. Yeah, and yeah. clapping. Okay. Because it's interesting because this is actually a very, very controversial subject right now, and a lot of people are unhappy with this. But anyways, just, we'll get into that in a bit. So, uh, who can play these worlds, okay? And how long does it last? Uh, old school Fresh Start Worlds will be available to play for six months, so half a year. It's going to be available for both free-to-play and members, and you can only access these worlds with a brand new account. So, you have to make a new account in order to access these uh, these worlds. They're treating it this way to help attract new and returning players uh, and to help uh, keep them engaged. Uh, that's why after six months, they will migrate these servers, which are temporary, into the main game. So basically, in short, if you play on these servers and you get an account to level 50 uh, and you've got 10 mil on that account, that account and all of the items in progress will then basically transfer onto the main server. Right, so it's basically in a sense like imagine if at the end of Twisted Leagues or Deadman mode you got to keep the account, except from this doesn't have uh, multipliers on XP effectively is how it, how it works. Um, so yeah, um, though it's a fresh account, uh, wants to migrate their account early, they'll have the option to do so as well. So if you want to get the account over to the main game earlier than the end of the six months, there's an option that is going to be there for you to do that too. Uh, the difference between a fresh start world and normal game worlds, there aren't many. Uh, one notable difference is that Iron Man mode will not be available to play, which quite frankly makes me fucking overjoyed. I don't know about you, <laughs> men, dude, but I hate those Iron Man players. Uh, I just have know, a feeling they, someone would have made an Iron Man on that server. I just have a feeling if they didn't say that, it, someone would have made one, bro. I'm sure people well, will no, lock themselves like, to somewhere great. anyways. It can yeah, only be in Kremja, you know, which, hey, love you, Verf, <laughs> but, but I have a feeling is, someone's doing that. Dude, oh, everybody, everybody, like, at the start they of the will. server launch, it basically is Iron Man mode. Because, like, people don't have shit in the Grand Exchange, so you just have to go and get it yourself anyways. Like, people aren't going to have a yeah. blueberry special cocktail in the GE, and if they do, it's probably 100k. Like, you just go get it yourself, you know? And I'm excited for this. Um... So yeah, anyways, uh, the mode will not be available to play for Iron Man. Uh, there's no accelerated, no accelerated XP rates uh, or item drop rates or anything like that. The core gameplay remains the same, but there is a fresh economy, fresh high scores, uh, and only new accounts can play on them. Okay? So, basically what we Honestly, just said. Honestly, that's about it. <laughs> you covered pretty much everything everything new i would say i mean let's just... let's just like quickly go for it in case there is anything like a little snippet there i'll just ramble off but that is the gist of it um this will be covered more in detail next month but simply fresh start worlds uh aim for new players and players who haven't played old school runescape for a long time so that's something we can discuss by the way because i'm actually really excited for these servers as like a veteran player I don't know about you guys, and I don't know if it's just because I'm a content creator that I'm excited for it, because I see the potential, like, videos and content I can make, but, like, this sounds fun. It's just, like, a race to, like, high scores or, you know, GP or whatever, and you get to keep your money and progress at the end of it. Like, I, I kind of like this. I, I think I like this more than I liked, dare I say it, that skilling dead man mode that you guys love so much. What's it even called? Leagues? Is that it? Maybe hate, you would like leagues shit. more if you didn't sit at sand crabs every <laughs> damn day, bro. It was sand crabs or the silk spot. I walked by you every day. I was like, what is this man doing, bro? Oh, man. All right. But, yeah, so, uh, yo, yeah. yes, seriously, there is... Man, yeah, you can feel free to go over it, but there's honestly... Not a ton. They're just kind of saying that we're going to give more information next month, and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm just scanning yeah. this to see if there is anything here, For which sure. is yeah. Uh, yeah. a thing mm-hmm. we need to keep an eye on. But, but uh, while you're scanning it, dude, could I give my... Let's give our first thoughts on what we think about this. Um, Tom, you said as a content creator, you're excited. I'm excited, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. As a man, and this is not going to make me popular, who was completely down of resetting the normal servers, dude. No one's going to like me for that comment, but I am so down for that. <laughs> Seeing a fresh economy is the best. Did you guys play when Old School came out, by the way, day one? Oh, I yeah, was yeah. there, dude. I was there. Yeah, How I remember fun really. was that first week? Yeah, it was really fun. It was yeah, really, first really weeks fun. for like new servers of any kind is, is always like a uh, crazy time, you know? Your heart's racing. I remember walking around and I'd see people spamming clues so they could have fashion scape. There's a guy in full myth level 41st hour. I'm like, how the hell did you even do that? Like, I was being impressed by adamant scimitars at that stage or amulets. And I just never felt that kind of rush again. And when the rumors were kind of setting in about this game coming back out and that we didn't know about it, I thought it was going to be like a 2006 PvP esque server and I was getting really hype. Still excited for the fresh start. I do got to say, though, the main thing they're trying to tackle is getting new people into the game. I think that's probably why you even have to make a a brand new RuneScape account. I don't know if that's like for stock numbers or just to boost, like if it looks better. That that does kind of suss me out that you got to make a brand new account. Are they trying to like stack numbers so their game looks better? But yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm digressing here. I just didn't see this as a brand new experience to a new people. I more of saw it for people who were sweaty, people going for high scores, people swapping. I mean, swapping is going to be huge. You you already know these people with huge banks are about to buy as much as they can on like the first week for extravagant amounts. One to 50, right? Oh, my God. I did not think this was going to be for fresh accounts. But that apparently is the main reason they're doing this (laughs) for, for brand new people in the game. You make a really, dude, you make a really uh, interesting point there, which is like, yeah, they're making you make, I, I mean, it makes sense that you have to make a new account for this, right? Because, because you can't transfer it over. Exactly. Right, otherwise, but but yeah. the thing the thing that's kind of like interesting to that is you're, you're kind of right. So like compare this to the other temporary game modes that we've had. So Deadman Mode and Leagues. Okay. Now compare this third option versus those other two. And then think about in your mind, like, how much more appealing is this to new players over those old ones, right? Like, like actually think about that for a second. Because those those game modes, apart from Deadman mode, because Deadman mode's just like PK mode, but let's take Leagues, for example. It's turbo XP, instant mm-hmm. dopamine, and you just progress so goddamn fast, right? So... I think my question for this, for Jagex, is I don't necessarily think that this is going to be a massive hit with new players. I might be wrong, and I hope that I am. Um, But as somebody who's a veteran player who's played for a long time, I can't wait for this update. Like, this is going to be good. And like I said, I don't know if it's because I'm a content creator and I have that bias that I know I can make content from this and it's going to be super fun to start from a new fresh account. But, like... I'm trying to put myself in the position of like a brand new player. It's like, would you rather play the game on turbo XP leveling up and progressing through the game or play it in the slow pace of the regular game? Like, I I think that's actually quite an interesting fault. And um, I think it will be interesting to see how this plays out. I really do. Yeah, it, it just doesn't seem like it's meant for brand new players, but they are trying to sell that point so hard. Make a new account, transfer your stuff over. But if you just made an account and played regular RuneScape, not only would you like have more options to items, uh, it just it would be a lot easier than making a brand new fresh account on a fresh economy, which seems like an incredible uphill battle. Sounds fun for me. Not going to be incredibly fun for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, <laughs> trying but, to buy lobsters with no economy. I mean, they're going to have the worst time. Not saying they want fun, but it's like the, the it's, thing. It, the thing is, though, right? Is the maybe not for new players, but I think this could hit the demographic of old players who quit and are returning 
because then they get to re-experience, you know, the the start of a new MMO. That's literally what this is trying to, um, it, it's trying to be, or it's trying to like, you know, have that kind of feeling to it as you play it. You're playing a brand new MMO. The economy's fresh. The high scores are fresh. Everything's at your disposal, and you just make of it what you want. And I think that, including myself, there are probably a lot of players that are thinking, "Man, it's gonna be fun to like." You know, day one, it's like the Runite Skimitar is a huge item. And it's like, how long is it going to be until an Abyssal whips in the game? You know, like, questions like this and experience in that game for the first time again? I don't know. I think, at the very least, I think this will be really interesting. And um, from what I've read about this, apparently it's not actually going to require, like, that many resources for them to do this. Apparently to do this is actually, like, very simple in terms of... Um, their resources that they have to use. It's basically an experiment. And I can't, like, I don't understand why people are giving them such a hard time for experimenting when this is a right. temporary game mode. Dude, yeah, for real. What the hell's up with Reddit lately? So mainly I've been asking my audience today on stream, for those who are for it and for those who are against it, what's their main reasons? For those who are for it, they want a fresh economy. They want to relive the, the nostalgic moments, right? Uh, kind of like how I talked in multiple podcasts where RuneScape literally just pre-packages the start of RuneScape in every mode because they know we love the Tutorial Island Barak start, the chop a log, burn a tree, get multiple levels. We love that. Instant dopamine. The people who were against it, mainly their biggest things were the economy is going to somewhat crash from all these items coming in from these accounts. And then the biggest thing that I've heard is, what if RuneScape dies? What if there's no one playing? And I'm thinking... How many people do you see on average anyways? Like, aren't you usually down in a dungeon doing Slayer? Do you want more people down there? I mean, if you go to Grand Exchange, there's going to be someone there every time. You go to Varrock, there's going to be someone every time. It's not going to really mess with these populated areas. If anything, it's going to give you an advantage while you're training stats. I, I, don't, I, I don't really understand that mentality, but those are the two biggest reasons on both sides that I've asked from my audience, if they it, like it or hate it. it it's not... It, I, I haven't even been on Reddit. I don't check it, but like Twitter today was just a shitstorm of, you know, content creators like saying, you know, why waste your time on this? And like, it, I understand it, right? It, it's like there are things in the game that can be updated and so forth. Um, I'll, I'll have to try and find it, but I definitely read at some point today, uh, someone at Jagex, and I can't remember if it was Aiza replying to a tweet. Uh, it may have actually been that, where he basically said, like, this is simple for us to do. Like, this really doesn't take very much dev time, and, you know, why the fuck not? It's like, let's let's see if the people like it. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. What do you think, Ray? Alright, well, I'm gonna try to mention some things that you guys haven't already. Uh, well, here, here's the deal, right? So, this, this one, this particular version of the game, they don't have to change the game at all, right? They just have to change, like, more of the backend stuff, like their servers, right? How to split up world so that it's self-contained and so that they can't merge with you know the current worlds too soon right so that's that's more like technical stuff they have to do they don't even have to like update the game so of course i think it would just be easier for them to run this it's not like like leaks one and two and three where they had to like literally create new relics you know create new interactions with content like you know so it's just none yeah. of that stuff way way less time consuming it's just all about the people that manage the servers, really. You know, that, that kind of stuff. They have to do certain things, but I don't think it's going to be as bad as making absolutely new content. And also, with <laughs> things like demo mode and things like leaks, right? I think those all did a really good job at uh, attracting, uh, of course, people that used to play RuneScape back into the fold. And probably, you know, some new people that have never played RuneScape before. Maybe, maybe they... They just touch RuneScape one day as a game. That's it, right? Those those I consider new players. And maybe some new players got into it because it was a big hype. All the creators were, you know, making videos on it, streaming it. So eventually new people got in. But but here's the problem. When you run demo mode too many times and when you run leaks too many times, the interest, right? The 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 excitement just goes downhill, right? Like at least one was crazy. Um in, in terms of like this was so different that it shocked everybody, right? Like a lot of old players just came back and new players checked out the game because it was such a it was such like a new thing for everybody, right? So it just felt incredibly new and fresh. And and who doesn't want to get in on 
on that, right? Like FOMO, right? Fear of missing out because that, that was such a unique thing. But two and three, as you do more and more of like this, that type of concept, it, it dies out quicker. Like Leagues 3 definitely died out far quicker than Leagues 1. I think it's because people kind of already knew what Leagues is going to be about. They, they've already done the first two years of it, right? And they, they and no matter how much they change it, you know, the idea of relics and accelerated rates, et cetera, right? And, and the fact that it's temporary, like people are already so used to that at that point. So I, I think they've realized that they can't just keep relying on leagues or keep relying on MMO because every time they keep they, they re-release it, even if they change they're it up a bit. With the MMO uh, leagues then? Or well, they're gonna be like I a think, once a year thing? I, I think they're trying to figure out whether or not they should continue to run those or actually just try out something completely new. Are you looking at profits? Stuff. Or or new players. I, I think they're looking at both because they're correlated. New players equals profits. Oh, right? for sure. So it, it would just but go I, hand in hand, right? I'd imagine like oh. leagues and dead MMO to be like more profit than new and, players. And and and, and sure, also man. we 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 need to understand that returning players is in their mind is also just new players. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just some it's just however many players stack on top of our current player base, right? So in their in in the company's point of view. A new player is just the same as a returning player, right? Because it's all about concurrent players, people that actively play this game, right? So they don't need to really focus on new players. They just need to focus on how to get players that are currently not playing RuneScape now back into playing RuneScape, right? You get what I'm saying? So it doesn't have to be exclusively new players, right? And, and like I said, I, I'm saying that like rates, you know, Leagues 3, you could tell... Uh, obviously, people were getting into it. They were getting hyped for it, but they they got out of it so quick, you know. Uh, compared to like race one, right, and race two, you could tell um, it, it's like it, it's you know less hype every time, right? And same with demo, less hype every time. So I think they're trying to figure out if this new type of mode here, it's essentially it's kind of like a mode, right? New concept of playing playing the game again, right? Restarting from zero is it's going to be a much more profitable take for them right and also just means more more people actively playing right so i think they're testing this out and seeing that if if this works really well they could probably just slow down the leaks right they they probably be like ah oh, we don't have to do this every year you know or and demo it's like all right well you know we don't need to do this uh, X amount I wonder, of time, right? you know like, if the leagues and dead mode preparation is taking so much effort on the J mods part and time and resources that they can't actually upgrade the main game and they're getting a bunch of complaints. So, yeah, what you're saying is maybe they supplement <laughs> this for that yeah. less effort and now they have more time to yeah. work on Rage 3, Wilderness Bosses. Yeah. So, it could be a nice little. I mean, sometimes, nice little sometimes less is more as well. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. have a problem with this because they've never done it before. Uh, if this were, like, let's say, for example, like Dead Man Mode and Leagues didn't exist, and what they're doing with these servers is what they did with Dead Man Mode, where they just put the same thing out over and over again until everybody was like, okay, we get it. Like, we're not really into this and it's not changing. Then I would understand why people would be upset with it. But, like, why not try something new? It, it's like either this sticks or it doesn't. It's like either it's a hit or it's not. People are either going to enjoy it or not. And if it's not going to require like barely any dev time or much effort on their part to just throw this up for people and experiment, like we shouldn't, dude. I don't feel like we should, um, we should badger the J mods for trying something new. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Especially when it when it's not taking like months of resources I, i'm trying really difficult like really hard right now to find the tweet from aiza that i read earlier about this requiring not very many um like not much time to do this yeah um logically you know, it doesn't like what, compared what's the, to making leaks what what's yeah. the harm in this like worst case scenario and i think this could be a possibility is that people love it on day one they're like shit this is hype this is awesome i get to relive you know the start of an mmo and then after a few days, they're just like, ah, oh, it's really slow and I don't want to play this anymore. That's literally worst case scenario. Well, Best case um, scenario, people get back into the game. And, you know, here's the thing, like, don't underestimate FOMO and how much people enjoy the start of MMOs. Don't underestimate it. Like, Mint Mad Cal, bro, it was only a few months ago that you basically turned into a New World MMO streamer, right? It's hey, like, you enjoyed the start so of that MMO. Dude, it was so <laughs> hype. It was so enjoyable. I played on day one. 
yeah and so mm. did like millions of people and, and there's a reason why it's so exciting is because people feel fresh in a world they don't necessarily know what's going to happen or where it's going to go and this is quite trying to imitate that but it's slightly different because there are now people like ourselves that have played this game for a long period of time where we're going to know what to do going into this this isn't our first rodeo bro boys we've done dead my modes we've done leagues we know what to do with our 25 gp in the bank account as you come out of tutorial island we have a good grasp on the game so it's like it will be interesting to see just how fast our gameplay like progresses even on normal xp rates like i'm effectively gonna use this update as an opportunity to just do a from scratch series and the best part about it that i like the most is that at the end of those six months i i get my reward i don't have to be like oh shit, i'm gonna work six months and then get nothing from it or i get a dragon trophy I don't give a fuck about a dragon trophy, dude. I want the 600 mil on my account. That's yeah, because you don't have a dragon trophy? I don't want a dragon trophy, dude. You can keep your exactly, dragon trophy. you don't have a dragon I don't, trophy. I don't, I don't, I don't want it, dude. Your streets, boy. Back to back, you already know. Yo, the two times. <laughs> Yo, so breaking, breaking this update down, we should go over our, you know, our own biases of the positives and the, the negatives that could that could come into this update, dude. And honestly, the whole like Twitter bashing too is so so awkward. Seeing your own community fight updates every day, like what are you guys doing? Calm the fuck down. But uh, I don't know. Do you guys have any? Let's start with negatives. Negatives are always fun to talk about. What could be the negatives of this coming into play? What the worst case thing? What the worst bro, case scenario? Bro? Everybody quits after a few days and is dead. That's worst case scenario. And everyone just goes and plays the main game. Yeah. That's worst case. All right. I don't I even think I can... that's a scenario that happens because people are going to speed run. I'm, someone's probably going to fucking max. All right. If they could swap, they're probably going to max. Someone's going to be sweaty. So I almost guarantee you that ain't going <laughs> to, that ain't going to happen. Too, too many sweaty people out here. What are you saying, Rice? All right. So um, when I first heard this, like when I woke up, um, obviously RuneScape 3 is also having this too, right? So, so I was hearing some information about the RuneScape 3 ones that, you know, they're fresh dot server. I heard there might be an accelerate XP. So I was like, wait a minute. This, so this is like some weird private server kind of thing. And then I heard that they were going to transfer the account over. I'm like, whoa, that's busted. So, so I was like, oh my God, that, that, that's devastating, you know, because, Here we go. you know, that accelerate rates and then you transfer it to the main game. Insane. RS3 is doing but, their own version of leagues finally. They thought they a brand new account, but, yeah, but so, and are letting people buy MTX. Wait, what? But like, but here's the deal, right? I, I heard that. So I was like thinking like, what would old school have that too? But luckily I, you know, I read the forums and they, the old school one's just normal XP. Everything's the same. So, so old school is definitely doing it in a more like, I like this way much better because Honestly, what are the cons? Not nothing really. There's there's no actual significant con to it because if you don't even like the game, you just play normal, right? Yo, and and if, it's if, the same amount of people that play this game, anyways. If so, I may quickly connect a incomplete oh, okay. circle, right. okay, just real quick. As I mentioned at the start of this video, uh, Josh Strife says, "Hey's sorry, Callum Upton. I'm on his Twitter right now." basically said, you know, regarding something coming to old school that all old school RuneScape players were not going to like. So this is something that he tweeted earlier today, uh, which was him retweeting the announcement for these fresh servers. And he says, here it is, right? And something interesting happened here, okay, is Alex Sween, XMOD Sween, commented saying, with no rewards, gameplay modifiers, or incentives for active accounts to play which the reply was none yet. And Aiza's response was none at all. None at all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, yeah, no. Like to, so, to connect this circle real quick, I mm -hmm. think that the speculation that Callum Upton had regarding old school RuneScape, the information that he had from an XJ mold was basically that, that there was well, like, it's the, the raids it's free stuff. <laughs> Dude, I think what he thought, yeah, it's, was the raids yeah, free stuff news. was coming to the old school RuneScape fresh servers yeah. and right if that were to have happened he's right like people would have been quite rightfully so pissed off uh, yeah so it yeah. doesn't look like that's the case yeah. which is oh, back to what i was saying right so when yeah. i when i heard about the xp stuff obviously if that was old school runescape i, I would have been like oh absolutely that that's no no you can't do a mode like this because you're going to transfer it to the main game no but old school again is 
the that mode is just a fresh server everything's the same so if you transfer over to a new game to to the main game it's it's just the same amount of effort and work anyways you know and you're just going to keep it right and it's going to go back to the main server so it's completely fine there's really no crazy like there's no significant cons to this other than like uh may, you know may, maybe maybe it'll, it'll take some players from the current game uh when it comes to group activity it might be a little bit annoying because to find people to do certain things but other than that that's not that's not really that big a deal you know because people will come back because this this mode i'll be honest with you with any new mode it doesn't matter what the concept is if it, any new temporary mode it's 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 always gonna die fairly quick you know they have six months right but let's be real the first month is probably gonna be where 90 percent of players will play and then after that it's they're they're gone they're either back on the main game or they're playing i don't know like fortnite or some bullshit that they are already playing so <laughs> it's really not that huge of a con but there's a lot of pros here all right you well, know before we, we get in the pros man i, I want to oh, touch right. because i think mtx is for sure a con so do you, so does that mean they're gonna be buying xp on runescape 3 pretty much Mate, you Runes, could, mate RuneScape really Free is just a dud, dude. Like, don't even concern yourself. Well, look, look, the, look, look. This the, the I don't clown know fiesta going on over there, dude. Let them do their yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So you know? I'm not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent sure how the Rs three fresh start is gonna work in terms of like if they're just gonna keep everything the same. But of course, you can you can buy you can buy XP in the main Rs three outside of Iron Man mode, right? But like, there's no Iron Man mode, so technically. It might just be the same as it already is on R3 because you could already buy keys, right, mm -hmm. to to get XP. But like the you know to do that, if it's the same exact thing, it would cost thousands of dollars just to get like a significant amount of XP to but make you, it worth your time. I, you, but you see so, what they're doing there? They're being cheeky. Because earlier I didn't know this was a thing. People were calling it a cash grab. I'm like, dude, it's not a cash grab. They're just they're just fine. But now we got to make. And just to play devil's advocate, because I'm completely for this and Jagex making money. I don't give a shit. But yeah. to play the devil's advocate, they're making us make new accounts, which is going to boost something. I mean, it's probably going to look good on stocks or whatever. It's probably something there for them other than just brand new accounts. And two, MTX, differently on a fresh server and competitive high scores, is going to be so much more sought after. Right? So then you know exactly what they're doing with this. And I will yeah. say on RuneScape 3's part, it is totally 120% a cash grab if they're going to allow people to do this. I don't care. I don't play the game. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, accelerated. Know, it is yeah. accelerated XP on... The, they know what people are going to do in high scores, though. They yeah, know yeah. they're going to compete Holy and shit. spend money. I mean, of they, course. they understand this for sure. Yeah, yeah. So, damn. Yo, I, I finally caught this bug that was flying on my monitor, dude. Holy crap. Anyways, oh. You hit him with the chopsticks like Jackie Chan or I just grabbed it with my hands. <laughs> Got up and sit, dude. Yeah, so Rs3 does have their version has accelerated XP. But but old school is completely the same. It's playing literally the same exact kind of like difficulty startup, you know, from beginning to end, pretty much. Yeah. So okay. it's fine. And it's not good. to not really to mention good. something really cool is that there's even free to play. So if you wanted oh, to, oh shit, really? You could, yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, 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 bro. You can, uh, you can, you don't even have to pay to play this mode. Like if you wanted to, and I may do this. We'll see. You could go in as a free-to-play player, make a bond, or wait. That's an in, that's a good question. Oh, Are you gonna, gonna be able to buy and sell make that bonds? Video. Yeah, yeah well, oh, dude, I'm already man. knowing I'm going into it making some sort of oh, money making. Of course, making yeah, 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 100%. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, you just buy a bond for, for your new account. How much your bond's going to yeah. go up, bro? I'm just curious, though. Are there going to be mil. bonds available on that market on a fresh server? How do we think that's going to work? Or are they going to force well, you to buy membership? Well, they're not going to force you. No, 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 no. I don't know. No, it's, it, it's, know. It's, it's, if it, look, look. It, 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 2P, but to be members without bro, a bond, it, bro, it, it would it's force pretty, you to it, it's pretty simple, dude. If you buy a bond for that character who is currently locked into, um, you know, that server, it would just be a bond that works for that server, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you can't buy I bonds ba, 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 ba. on But then you sell, server, you, if you sell the bond in that server, it'll just be based on the supply so, and demand. So, so yeah, yeah. Server. So, does that mean that It'll on day one, well. day one, you'll be able to buy a bond on that server for like 100,000 gold? Probably less. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be player like, who's gonna rent. going to have 100,000 gold? Dude, I'm going to have 100,000 gold. I'm fucking stratting up, dude. I'm going to have On like... day one? <laughs> well, uh, well, yeah. Like, no, I'm oh, saying... Bro, what do you mean day one? Of course. The price of the dude, 100k I'm saying... nothing. We got I know, I know. But like, but like, you, you got to understand. The price of the bond is dictated by supply and demand. 
Yeah. Right? In a new server. So in the new server, on day one, there's just not going to be feels that much a money. Bit so, like yeah. another deviled app, deviled app. But, but like, it doesn't matter. Because, right. like, think about it this way, right? It doesn't really matter, really, because if you wanted to just play as a member, you just be members anyway. Yeah, you know? yeah, well, this is right. this is the thing. So, like, so I that's I just like a weird thing, you know. That, I, so, I that I was actually coming from the perspective of it would be cool to go into this as free to play, get a bond, like maintain membership yourself without having to pay. That's kind of like what I did with my last series, right? However, yeah. it's brought up the interesting question of if you can buy and sell bonds on this temporary server, then in a way. You could basically get get ahead by yeah, spending but that's real money on been those case, bonds, you know. But that's yeah. always been the case on old school too, with bonds. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so like it's I the said, same kind of thing, you know. It's the high score thing. They're being a little cheeky. I guess they understand it, people are going to do that, and it's probably going to cost some sort of squeeze on on the bond. And, mark. and also, here's the deal: it doesn't even matter <laughs> if people do it through bonds because guess what? People are going to be like, "Hey, yo, um." I'll give you max cash in main game and you give me all your GP. Right? It's the same it, shit. It's it still literally paid is, you're, you're right. still paid to win. It doesn't it, you don't even need bonds to get an advantage. Right? People already do mealing and and you know swapping gold and shit. They always yeah. do that. So it's nothing new. You yeah, know? you're right. Like you're right. Will they will take advantage of it, bond or not. <laughs> they're gonna does, they have cash. It does feel like there will be a revenue boost though that day. Oh, absolutely. No, this is literally like probably one of the big reasons, right? That they want a new mode because like I said, they realized they ran demo mode a little too many times. They probably ran, you know, leagues a little too many times. They, I, I, for, I don't, for, you, you get what I'm saying? You get this weird feeling that, like, if they put out Leagues 4, it probably just wouldn't do as good as the previous Leagues, right? It's going to get to a point where, you know, you, you'll, get the, you'll get the initial burst, but it's not going to be as strong. It won't stay. So they're definitely trying to find a new way to, you know, create, like, a new boom. Right, so yeah. so they they get that market increase, they get that player boost, they get that media social media going. Right, they're trying to find a new mode that can that can recreate Dude. leagues one, that can recreate demo mode. The this first is, demo mode. This is genuinely saying? a really smart yeah. decision they've yeah. made here. It, like, it is it, incredibly smart. Like, incredibly. Dude, Once you break the, it the, down, yeah, on all levels, it kind of is the, a win. The only a very downside to this is that here. nobody plays it after like a month or maybe yeah, a week yeah. or whatever. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Like a few days. I, 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 that's the I imagine, that's the downside. But like, what's I that? I imagine five percent of that would like, would dude. That's su around. that's such a small risk to take for the potential yeah, upside of people really enjoying this. And I think that there will be people that really enjoy this. Uh, I think I call I'm going to be one of them. Smart business move. This is a smart business move. They they don't always do smart business moves, man. Like when they yeah. release Group Iron Man and then two months later they release Leaks Three. That was a terrible business move. But this one is a smart business. That's what's pretty shit. When yeah, they release was, Rev Boss in the middle bad. of leagues, that was also a bad business move. Yeah, for they, sure. They've made some uh, bad ones, but this one is like I think it's the J mods themselves, not the biz, not the people up, you know, in the. You know, in like the stocks and shit. You know what I mean? Like th this is like some real J mod, like yeah, yeah. you know, kind of like right idea right there. Yeah, honestly. dude, a hundred percent. Like somebody's like thought about this very simply and being like, "What can we do to appease the player base?" Like they understand have? the game. Yeah, they get properly. it. They they a hundred percent get it. it. And, and not to not to mention like a lot of J mods. Believe it or not, play a lot of other games. Not all of them, but I assume that quite a few of them do. Uh, I know for a fact that some of them do because I've played other games with them. Um, and, and it's like you know they will experience like games like New Worlds, you know, and, and games like uh, Final Fantasy, like these MMOs that have come out and there's been all this hype around it, and they can experience that new game, you know, that new game, the new MMO feel. It's a buzz, man. Like it really is. And I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I have a memory of like day one of when the old school RuneScape servers opened up, when uh, there was a guy that I knew who, he was like filthy rich on RuneScape 3, because RuneScape 3 was a thing, obviously, at the time, and he basically swapped money day one from RuneScape 3 into old school RuneScape. Now, this was so many years ago, it was back when nobody knew, Iron Man didn't exist, you know, we're like eight, I didn't eight years ago. Rice Cup was, <laughs> dude, Rice Cup was like a little baby semen at the time. It's like this was a nah, long nah, time I ago. Pretty, I was pretty rich, <laughs> still. You know, like two pretty... words that should never be put together, but I yeah, get don't you. say that. Why Dude, right, say Rice that? Cup was inside a ball sack at this time. Okay, like just saying, no, man. He, no, he hadn't no, even I, seen I was, the light at the end of the tunnel link. yet. I was like a speedling in the rice plant. Okay, <laughs> I'll say it the other way. That sounds.
Right, right so, that, anyways, my, my point is, I have this memory, dude. This guy got a rune sword day one of release of all the school runes get servers, man. And I was like, I was saying to my friend, I was like, how the fuck did he get a rune sword, dude? Like, because we're noobs. Like, we don't know how to play the game. Do you know what I mean? Like, we've played pre-OC, but we're PKers. Like, we just killed people for money. I'm just like, how did he get a rune sword? Like, we're just like... Deer in headlight, like what do we do? Everybody's in Varrock in the Grand, like not the Grand Exchange, Varrock, uh, West Bank, because there's no GE, and it's like, how did he get it? And my friend was like, oh yeah, he um, he gave something like eighty mil Runescape free for like a hundred k old school Runescape, and I was just like, what? And this was like the first few hours of the servers being released, so I have that memory in my mind, and I'm ready. I, I can't wait, dude. Bro, I just, I, I, I'm dude, looking honestly, forward to this. I kind of, I kind of rocked the old school when it came out. You know, I was the, I was that guy selling rune skims for seventy k each. You know, the first like day or two, bro. Man, man, I, dude, I the was thing. the guy selling rune kites for a hundred to hundred twenty k for like, for like two weeks until the guy got ninety nine smithing and then my, you know, my market. I remember that. I remember the ninety nine smithing guy. He made a bunch of rune axes, right? This is I the hate thing. that guy, bro. He made the rune kites and they crashed. It, it went down to fifty k, and then I, I stopped. I stopped. This is the yeah. thing, boys. We know so much more information now. I'll take have, over. I don't. We have so Again. much. We have so much knowledge, bro. Just go and get your 10k from the security. Get some runes from the mage bank. Go and kill yourself some of those Zam you Zamorok warriors in the ZMI. Get a rune skimmy. One in fifty. Easy, dude. Oh, dude, that There's place is gonna get sorted, bro, bro. dude. That you place know? is gonna get so crowded, bro. It's know. gonna be mad. <laughs> Yo, look, look. I I still have my secret spots that I'm pretty sure no one knows. So. Dude, so you gotta like, tell me. Ah, damn. I'm gonna reveal it, it. I guess. I'm gonna reveal it. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually gonna properly plan for this release. Like, I'm gonna actually <laughs> sit down and script out exactly what I'm gonna do step by step without needing any outside help. Like, I'm just gonna I'm show people how I used to do it. I'm gonna show yeah. people how I used to do it, and it's gonna ruin everything, but it's fine. Yeah. Boys, <laughs> what do you think the swapping rate will be day one? And do you think that will be incredibly seductive for botters? Um, uh, six months. Yeah, I think people would try to bot it. I mean, six yeah, months. Just the day one swaps. Do you think like it would be like for the first week with the just I don't know what the I rates mean, are gonna yo, be. I mean, to be honest, all. if you're if you're botting the first week, I think you'd be pretty inefficient. I think it know? also depends a lot on content creators. So let's not forget, dude. Content creators kind of hype this stuff up. Like, look at Deadman <laughs> Mode, for example. Like when you see like Alfie on day one transferring like a hundred mil old school runescape for like maybe a mil dead man mode you kind of set that bar without the content creators in the picture and i don't know how popular this is going to be stream wise it might be like really popular it might not be but mm, i think some... it's going to be pretty popular i think it's going to be huge okay. because because Number like week one like that memo one you know those shook the the mark like social media and there's a high right? score Honestly, that's all they need really media, but, 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 so, but but you're missing a component Deadman modes mean? with Deadman mode, there's a rush, there's an urgency to get ahead of everybody else. Yeah, because so if, is this if you, mode. you have no, high no there, there's, there's mode. not because in Deadman mode, if you fall behind, you get fucking one shot by everybody and you lose your bank and you quit. There's none of that happening in this. You can I mean, start leaks there. one, leaks one well, didn't play... need PvP, <laughs> right? Right, like this, yeah. this is the thing. Side, real quick, though, yeah. all okay. right, the. Better and faster you play, the more you're rewarded ahead of everyone. You'll get to Abyssal Demons first. You'll get to all, yeah. all of these things oh, that matters. you can instantly it, it, swap. It so it depends what trident, you go for. First Trident, I mean, we're going to be talking oh, incredible uh, amounts of money. So yeah, bro, that's it's actually it's a rush. It but is this a rush. Is, this, right, just yeah. something real quick. Leagues. It's a different kind of urgency. In leagues, there's only the high scores, right? That's literally all there is, Okay. And, and, and this, it worked though. It just yeah, it, it at least did one work. was fucking crazy. And, and I'm sure that there's going to be plenty of people <laughs> like, to play this it, that go for it, high scores. But my know, point, my like, point is, is that it's a lot broader now. I'm not yeah. competing on high scores at all, but I'm going to be competitive as hell. Like, but it's going to no, be in like, a different way. Do you see what I'm saying? Here's something. Here's something that you, you should realize about leagues one, right? When leagues what so here's the deal. When leagues one came out, despite the fact that it was barely marketed and not a fucking soul really gave a shit about that mode but the moment it came out it shocked everybody dude like everybody wanted to watch it and the people that didn't even know about it they're like damn i'm gonna play next league because i fucking missed out you know yeah. that that's literally how crazy it was like this one 
I mean, you already know about it ahead of time. You already know about it months in the head. And everyone's fucking talking about on Reddit. This shit will blow the fuck up. I'm not going to say yeah, yeah. that future renditions of this will, like, be as successful. But this first time concept is going to it's going to shake social media it, pretty it hard, is so it, it is will. the first time right that yeah. a fresh server with no xp rates right yeah first time yeah so oh yeah people are like they're going to be shitting in their chairs they're, peeing in buckets i mean this, frank <laughs> smith is going to get another pair of underwear and he's going to go for it bro this Man, is the, crazy like my, my my point is though is there's a difference between this and leagues leagues is primarily high score focused right dead man mode you want to get ahead as fast as possible because you don't want to fall behind if you fall behind you get destroyed by everybody well except in, for the last one this, which was bracketed right well in that in that one if you died three times your account basically got deleted so it was really punishing <laughs> if you fell behind that was fucked. so like my point is you can go into this and do whatever you want if you want to become a mercher you can be a mercher if you go into this and you just want to swap money for the first month you can do that if you want to like set a goal of money you want to go for you can do that if you want to go for high scores if you want to go on this server and start pking you can do that like there's nothing stopping you and in fact it'd probably be quite fun like think about it like revenant caves are going to be insanely good money right and it's going to take everybody forever to get good gear people are going to be made uh magic shortbow runaro pking for days dudes and like yeah. i don't know if last one's standing is going to be in this but i'm telling you right now dude i go to lms i can make a couple million rune arrows in, in a few hours like, God, this, is, this is easy, on this server, well this is this is, the, this is the thing dude like things have changed so much and if this is literally just runescape copy paste on a new fresh server of course i'm gonna do everything i can to get ahead dude like why wouldn't i man i want to yeah, get yeah, yeah, i want to yeah. get my mill sorted so i can buy a, like 10 bonds for the entire six months easy clap you know of course i'm gonna do it oh, like this man. is the thing dude there's so much to this and it's so brawled i don't have to be like oh i'm fishing because i want to be on the high scores i don't the nothing you know if that's what you like to do fucking more power you just shit on like but, half the community right there bro i don't They're care all bro scores, it's not for, right hey if you're into what you're into, more power to you. I'm uh, happy. But my point is, you can do what you want in this, and you don't have to play in any certain way. And I like that. I like that. There's a lot. gonna yeah. be a ton of people just not. Right, like, so... I hope no one dies. Do you think anyone's gonna die, dude, from like trying to get <laughs> the first whip? I no, for not. real. Like, there's no I XP boost. Trying to get the first whip from scratch is definitely not going to be a weak grind, hopefully, right? Hopefully it takes longer. Than, if someone gets in a week, they're pretty much going to die. Well, yeah, something. yeah. No, I don't know so, for sure. I don't know if they can. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that's that'd be really interesting stuff, to see how long right, it but, takes. It'd be interesting to yeah. see. I can't remember when Old School came out, how long it took someone to get. Is it 82 that you can boost with a wild pie, or is it 81? Or is it yeah, 82? no, it took, it took them, like, I'm, definitely I'm, I'm over... Guessing over a week man uh, yeah it was it was it yeah. took a while dude like it was super yeah. slow the pro the progress at the beginning is minuscule but just minuscule. i mean it's gonna be no i mean no no it's gonna be a lot faster because now the xp ways for slayer uh it, it basically doubled because of like barraging you can barrage and use uh the bracelets and if you have like barrage that. week one you deserve yeah. fucking 85 slayer yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. i mean it's gonna be fast way faster than it was back in uh the mm -hmm. you know old school release because these updates for Slayer since back then at least doubled it, double tripled it easily. So, so, so there's yeah, a, we, there's might, a we lot might see in a few days. We might see in a few days. Not a there's lot. a lot of people in your chat that are saying about people botting and account sharing, which is I think oh, very, yeah, a very, I, mean, I think it's that, a very valid question. That, and that's part of the package, bro. You know, yeah. any new mode that's always gonna happen. It's, it's gonna happen. I hope people are literally Jag gonna share are, buckets, You know. Yeah, yeah. I I hope Jagex are like hot on that. And, uh, you know, they have been in the past, and I hope that they do get rid of uh, accounts that do stuff like that. Yeah, they monitored for leaks, Hope so hopefully. I, I wouldn't be surprised. They, they've done the same for yeah. Deadman mode. Like, people used to um, splash, and they used to just, like, get, like, 94 magic overnight, basically. And they used to do it with um, an auto-clicker to keep themselves logged in. Those accounts all got disqualified. Like, that's literally why those accounts got DQ'd, and you saw all these, like, you know... Yeah, I'm sure People being like, oh, I got yeah. DQ'd for nothing, and it's like, well, bro, I saw you for, like... 12 hours splashing on a man <laughs> it's like yeah i'm sure yeah, it was yeah, no, is no, gonna be so sweaty oh my probably, god yeah, yeah. Probably i mean like the, the, the concerns that you have like like so certain people have like really standard concerns like botting uh, account sharing like like that that doesn't mean anything in this case because th this is stuff that's universal It'll always happen 
you know, Jags can only do so much to to tame those. But like, it does it has nothing really to do with this release specifically, right? Because these are issues you're, you're talking about issues that happen all the time, anyways, right? So so it's like a pointless argument to have because for any mode that comes out, you can literally use the same argument, but that that has no merit to going against the, that coming out. We're talking about problems that arise specifically because of this type of update not things that always happens right well yeah. what does that have to do with this it doesn't it doesn't uh, it's not like a, a unique problem to this another observation right. right is like if this goes and this could very well go to absolute chaos and shit uh let's say everybody's bought in everything's messed up on the server it's just a mess there's fucking dupes everybody's got max cash and tebos they don't have to let that shit go into the main game. Like, they could just be yeah. like, yeah, nah, we're pulling the plug on this one, guys. <laughs> and it's like, bro, I'm mad. I want my 14 Tebos transferred now. It just completely <laughs> swaps over. I'm sure it will, dude. By the yes, way, I was thinking yeah, of a I fun mean, little just game. Roll back and, and All do, right, boys, you, know, you want to play a fun game real quick, dude? Yeah. All right. I'm going to say an item. The first item that comes out in this game, like the first person is item. I want you guys to tell me how much you think is going to be swapped for. All right, y'all ready? You get one guess each. Yeah. What will the first dragon claws go for? OSRs. I, I uh, like a few hundred mil. A few hundred Ma mil. Did you say max cash? Nah, nah, Holy shit! A few hundred mil. If it was dude, if it was a Tebow, it'd be like max cash easily. I, I think that they will go for just slightly more than what they're worth on the actual servers. Dude, no like, way! Because I, I, I would at least pay more triple. for them. At least I, triple. I, 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 I can explain. Like I can explain why. Mil. If you get claws, I will buy mil. them for two hundred and fifty mil if they're the first pair. Right now, I'm putting one right now, dude. I'm making a video. Two fifty so, mil, I get, but and sure. I'm handing revs, and I'm doing the same damn thing I do. <laughs> I'm kind of looking at it from the point of like, by the time that people are doing chambers, and let's say they don't just get lucky with a pair of claws, like we're talking, like they had to grind for these claws. Chances are that's months down the line. Like that's probably towards no, the end of dude, this server. There's dude. no way people. Okay, can no, not much. Not not much. Oh, dude, I, 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 it's Bro, not, yeah, a week, week and a half. A weekend, people are gonna do chambers, 100. You think? Because, because again, there's trading. Remember, we can use GE. You can trade. You can also swap and do all that. And you can have as many guess, people yeah, as you yeah. want too. So you yeah. can have a newbie rag team grinding this shit out. Yeah. Like like a sweaty solo they raider. Scale, they can, but yeah, they, yeah, a sweaty solo raider can can go real basic mystics. I mean, you'd have skim, bro. Like, bro, done, you know, I, I, I'm genuinely like, I so <laughs> I, I, I'm so excited to see this because when Old School RuneScape first came out, I remember that like days in, well, and somebody just got that, 60 yeah. attack after a few days. Like, yeah. I'm really interested to see how much we've progressed as individual players in the last like seven, eight years since Old School's come out. Because I'm telling uh, you, yeah. week one of release of Old School RuneScape, by the end of that week, people had like 40 Slayer. Or some shit like that. It was it was dreadful. Like it was nothing no, compared to what it'd be now. Not, I yeah. miss this, it. This, this I miss different. it because I felt this like I could compete. You know, you're gonna realize. I, this. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> I think in this server more than ever before, you're gonna realize just how how much of a nerd we've become and how much yeah because we're fucking older and nothing we just surprises know too me. much. That yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna break break standards that you didn't think was possible. You know. Right, you know why nothing surprises me, dude? Is because someone literally shit their pants for rank two smithing and then told everyone. <laughs> yeah, there that's, was that's no just need oh. to yeah. share that info. You could have just been like, "I got rank two smithing." Man's like, "Guess what I did for it?" <laughs> Took a fat shit. That they're proud, the bro. Sense, of course, they, these people <laughs> don't have shame. They're gonna grind, you know, and then they're probably gonna die at their keyboards, dude. There's no shame in their game. You know, I, I yeah, actually literally I die like holding to, a keyboard. Yeah. I would like to change my answer to your game question. I think that it probably would be a lot more actually. And the reason yeah. I'm thinking that now is because at the end of the day, when the servers end, you get the dragon claws. And if it's gonna benefit somebody hugely, like say like yeah. you're going PK and I mean, you get or to something keep like it that. Too, forever. I, I get it. It's, it's a forever Yeah, yeah it's exactly. A forever it's, item yeah. too. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. It'd be interesting because okay. I'm sure there'll be items that are like like take the dragon visage, DFS. That's going to be a massive mm -hmm. item. That's going to be a massive item for a long time on the server. But and that's going to come in the game recently fast, too. Bro, like, it's, like, it's things basically like first trident, oh, first trident, probably max cash, not going to lie, dude. Dude, you no know way. I, mate, I, first no. trident, dude, first trident. You know what we could do with trident, dude? Easy solo race, easy dude, solo. I'm thinking, okay, for tridents, dude, dude, I think you could probably right. swap those the first, first day one, for 150. 
The first what, one? What do you mean the first date? Bro, it's 80 some Slayer, man. It's gonna take... Oh, it's gonna be crazy, but they're gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be take crapping a hot those, They're gonna be crapping dude. those out for <laughs> sure, dude. No, no, only the first person, though. For a bit, it's gonna be Rice one guy be waiting for you, right? doing it. <laughs> All right? Like, first ever Trident... Probably Max Cash, dude. Like, Min, like I beg you, man. Or please, Bill, or please. Bill, honestly. Min, or please make like a progress series on. I, I just want to yeah. see what you get. Well, but only too. the first one though, because once <laughs> that guy starts playing my... a few more, he, he he's he's gonna. Ruin I, I want to see what you do. Yeah. I want to hear I what wanna... my series is gonna called. Go for, for it. This swap till I drop. <laughs> 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 yeah, That's I good. mean, yo, people love that stuff. I'm not gonna lie, people yes, love sir, that. Dude. Buy yeah. all the bulwarks in uh in the fresh server and make sure they don't see the main game. That's that's my goal right there. That's... Mind you, like seriously though, th this is I, I'm I'm probably more excited than the, about this than I was for Dead My Mode. I'm not even gonna lie. Like this I, is up your alley, dude. It's dude, all money I, making. I don't honestly. think I've even fully begun to like comprehend just how big this is and this how is fucking big. there's just so many angles like this is just an entire fucking world and it's like here have some fun you can do anything yeah, right. do you know what I mean yeah. like it's gonna so, be nuts can we make a pack right now real quick a <laughs> what a pack so I know your ass is gonna be doing Chambers of Zarek like four days in so if you get claws <laughs> just know, I'll, yeah, I'll, don't I'll make, you don't gotta tell me just let me borrow them and then I will pay you back like two x in like a week because I'm gonna be clapping. Mm. Hey man, ass honestly, dude, you. yo, honestly, dude, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty tempted to play, play it. You know, it'll be, it'll be my first not iron account a hot minute. You know, yeah, dude, That's come back, about, dude. come back to the, the, the good yeah. side, man. Come away from. Yeah, I'll, I'll just play for a month or so and see how where I can go. You know, right? what, what like, do you right? think? Dude, I'm not, can you imagine if he de irons after this and he's just like, no, yeah, no, of I'm course done. not, dude. Bro, bro, I already I'm played done. like ten plus years of normies, bro. I already, I still remember exactly how to use a G. Okay, <laughs> all right. Like, I'm not. I, I haven't missed it necessarily. I, but I think you this don't use the grand exchange. That's so weird. This mode is oh fun. This mode. This mode just looks really fun because I, I love like first day old school, man. It was freaking amazing. Like trying to find out how to actually like get a rune scimitar and selling it to people, you know, like figuring mm -hmm. out those strats. I, I think my strat is very obscure that it should yeah. still be fine. Like my spots are still obscure. No one knows about it. So I should still be good. But like, think... everyone else trying to get a rune scimitar, I know they're going to be struggling, but not me. I, already know I, I, I will. I will <laughs> say this. Like we uh... have definitely spoken about this very positively and hyped it up. But yeah. for any any people listening, you need to approach this game mode if you're gonna play it with limit your expectations is what i'm gonna say because the reality mm. is all of the stuff that we're saying and talking about is true but it's locked behind hundreds of hours of grinding like you're literally probably gonna be kicking goblins and cows to death and shit for like the first 10 hours and think about it like this you do dead man mode you got 25 times xp you get that shit in like four hours. This is gonna, if you do the same tactic, it's gonna take you 25 times as long. Even if you've got the RPG and you're just smashing those little chickens, like. What is that hand gesture, brother? You never see, dude, you like have the RPG <laughs> on your shoulder and you're like hitting every, you're like kicking shit. <laughs> This it's man's winking you know his I mean? known birds, bro. What are you doing? It's over your shoulder, bro. <laughs> do you, do, do, yo, do you use both hands? Can you show us both hands? You I know? don't even know. I think do it's like this. Do you like the ski, yeah. do you like It's like that, isn't it? And you kick with it. I think it makes your attacks like one tick faster, actually. Big Dude, brain you take those get skills to the Grand village. Exchange, and I promise you'll be making some good money. All Mate, right? first you thing I'm doing, I'm going to Varak Morty, and I'm taking out the first idiot I see for his 25 coins. Literally, first Why thing Why would I they do. be in Varak Morty, though? What the because know, that's, right? we're, we're going to plan Varak Morty day one, new server. Everybody must go there. Like that's just yeah, that's just gonna be dropping drop uh you know dropping loot to Faldor party except it's in the wilderness. I got but, 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 I got but, another but for fun real, game but though, for real you, though, man. for real, for real. Uh, uh I would say expectations like bring them down. It's gonna be slow, it's gonna be tedious, you're not gonna get to the fun stuff for a long time. Like <laughs> we're living on nostalgia right now, and it's like we're looking at this through rose tinted you know, that's how I'm seeing it. But realistically, it's not gonna be fun. To begin with, but it will yeah, become fun play. eventually. It will, it will become fun. It's just slow. Like you gotta be realistic. It's not dead man mm -hmm. mode. Like even dead man yeah. modes are grinds, even with times twenty five XP rates. You know, you're gonna have to think about this strategically. Don't be an idiot. You know, I'm sorry, that's a bit rude. 
plan it. Have a little think right, about so what you'd like to do. Waterfall actually, quest. Do it straight away. Instantly level yeah. boom. So, done. Furries. And then you're somebody gaming. mentioned Somebody mentioned though a good question. Why should you play it? Um, okay, so obviously, you know, we're a consecrator, so we're gonna make fuck ton of videos, we're gonna do our thing. But for uh, you know, you guys traditional players, what the fuck are you gonna get out of it? M mainly if you're looking for money, it's probably gonna be one of Hose. the best money makers of yeah. all time. For like at least the first month or something, you know? Like you're literally gonna be able to probably get a dumb rune scimitar and swap that shit for like 20 times the price you know for example uh, yeah so basically if you get into it and you get into it fast and you're a little you know you're a little knowledgeable about how to acquire resources and all that stuff you could probably yeah make yourself a few hundred mil if you're that if you're you know if you're that oh, in need of money in a way that's like limited time it's a limited time method of making money right i'm so excited right that's now. one reason training. for experienced people and the other reason is just bro it's fomo you're you're gonna have fear of missing out you know just go with your friends all start from scratch just have fun Boys. when you get bored be happy and move on you know Done. I, and you can I, swap a bit that's i'm it. gonna make a prediction right now and i will put money on the line <clears throat> oh, yeah? GP. How much? i yes. can, i bet you put your cards on the line Mid Mad Cow. Next, next cash from scratch. He is going to play this game mode. He is going to go at it for a couple hours, maybe even a few days. And then he's going to get bored as shit. He's going to grab a fire staff, grab some mind runes, and he's going to go get fucking killed for all of it in the wildy. And then he's going back to the rev caves on the Bro, main game. You, you know I'm be calling it right now. I know that's going to happen. Sorry, dude. I got to respond to this absolute yeah. atrocity all right, <laughs> happening right here. You know what I'm going to say for my boy Tom right here? He's going to hit the silk stall. He's yep. going to be there for about four hours. He's going to look back at my stream rocking max cash first day. And he's going to have a wink, bro, because he's so excited to see how insanely rich I am, bro. And then he's going to trade yeah, me no, some of that silk yeah. just because he was wrong. That's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, honestly, okay. though, like, Mink can grind. He's, he's two extra in ring, so he's pretty... I he's smell pretty, like grind, yeah. all right? I, this now, chair is a battle ready, bro. It's made for obese people. I, it's, I shredded this thing. All yo, right? you let, me guess, let me guess Mint's idea. I think he's going to, you know, play the game mode, and then he's going to try to get builds going on, you know, easy early builds for PK and go with it, make some money off the noobs, make some good videos, and then, you know, get get stronger, right? upgrade the, the character build for PK and go on from there, right? And I'm going to supply him with some Dragon Claws, apparently. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Right dude, I really... you ain't getting the claws, boy. All right, those are <laughs> dude, I'm going to have my own pair, man. Like, boy, Rice is I'm the one that's going to buy them for me. Dude, what do you mean? Mm, I'll, do some gonna... group, I'll, I'll do some group growlers with Rake Seed, you know? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Man. Easy, man. Boys, We're going to get I, first I Arbital a, set in game. Another fun game. So instead of guessing item prices or swapping, how about day one? What is going to be the most packed area, in your opinion? Day fire one. Giants. Fire Giants. Yeah, Fire 100%. Giants. Yeah. I already know Waterfall Fire Giants, and I'm not going to be there because I have my own secret spot. I ain't telling nobody. Bryce Cup, I'm <laughs> going to yeah, watch every one of your videos after this, and I'm going to find your secret spots because I know you've No, no, no. It's never on video. It's never recorded on video, so... You'll never find it. This man's it's hyping it up too here. much. I'm gonna look up fire giant locations on Google real quick. It's I only swear here. I'm sorry. Oh, Man, we got we gotta find where he's at and crash him. Just for anybody mm -hmm. watching this, I we can't tell you honestly. And it's not Zaya. I, I will say that it's not it's not Zaya because that spot's gonna be 100 percent Omega Pack too. So is it the wildy one? No, I'm not telling you, dude. Like it's. Oh, a it was like it. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Bro, that's so. No, that's. Uh, a, I can't dude, tell you, dude. I can't tell you. This man's like, dude. dude, dude, dude it, it, mate, listen. If you no, think no, that Rice Cup, if you awesome think Rice Cup is bro. killing <laughs> fire giants for a RuneSkimmy, you're wrong. He, like, just, bro. I'm literally gonna look it up here. I'm gonna look up a. He's gonna take his starter runes and obviously just start doing some. Chambers of Zerix day one, bro. Oh, you yeah, know but... it's cra you, you know it's crazy. There's so many new fire giant spots now, so it might not be as bad. Right, here we go. But, we yeah, fire giants. Rune skimming dropped by Adam and Dragon. <laughs> uh, a question. Implings. No, it's not Zaya. It's not Zaya. My, my secret Scorpia. spot is literally like no, no one knows it because yeah, it requires. Olivia would be good for early rune. It requires a very out. particular way to set it up. So. Okay. Oh, you actually, know, they made it easier now. You don't have, you don't even have to set it up. They literally just got the, the gang boss. Wait, I've never done this Zaya content. He drops it apparently. Gangster. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, to yeah. the to the community watching right now, do you want us later down the line to bring on some strategic, strategic, sweaty players and see if yeah, we right get some really nice, yeah. I'm yeah, really nice base day. strats, dude? Just to just to kind of see everyone's initial plans, dude. 
Because you know I'm very interested in initial plans, right? Because he's got the silk stall. I got way better <laughs> plans out here. Rice is going to just levitate probably, over everyone. Okay. I don't even know. I'll just upgrade my strat from my back in the noob days strat. We're going to have a soda mission on here. He came mm. in my stream earlier, and the first thing he said was, "Of course, are you?" Are you he said, "Are you hyped for this? Uh, these new worlds?" And I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "I got so many ideas for this shit," and he was like, "Yeah." I'm also it's gonna, gonna be play good. twenty hours a day, so we can compete Dude, with. I, the... I don't know how I'm gonna my stream. The first thumbnail from Solo is gonna be like rank one rank something. Five. Cooking oh. total It's gonna be first ten minutes. He cuts a tree, takes a pick. You know. It's it's something. It's always the rank ones for them. Rank man. one tallest neck in new, new fresh world. <laughs> that's his. Uh, that's his. <laughs> honestly, he can scout imps better from above the trees. So he's just got a built-in advantage there. Sorry, so he's yeah. he's too good at this game. We'll, we'll we have him on the I'm just I'm just we'll jealous because he's always out. rank one. Yeah. He's all, yeah. He's always rank one, dude. He's always got like some sweaty little plan. Do you know what's funny? I've been speaking to him a lot recently, and um, I'm trying to like arrange. We're, we're going to insomnia. Uh, if any of you guys in the UK are going to Insomnia up in Birmingham, uh, we're going to be there from the 26th until the 28th, I believe. So if you see us, come and say come and say hello. Um, but yeah, he, I'm trying to like arrange some stuff for this Insomnia. And Soda Mission's like, oh, you know, dude, like I just, I just go with the flow, man. Like, I'm just one of those. I'm like, bruh. You got like some mad like ten page plan for everything you do, like going with the yeah. flow. Like, what are you? He just doesn't no. want to commit no, to no, these right. ideas. He's pretty dude. smart though. He's a he's a smart guy. I ain't gonna lie. I, I do. He is. He is. I mean, wow, dude. I'm kind of like I'm kind of flabbergasted. His uh, his tutor when he was at uni was the bloke called Brian Cox. Elon Musk. Oh yeah, yeah. He's, he's better. Famous, bro. That better guy, than that Elon Musk, dude. Brian I mean, Cox, dude. Like, you know who that is? Yeah, yeah, I've he's like, he's like okay. a astrophysicist or some shit. Dude, know? the guy, the guy he's Brian like my Cox. favorite person in, in the world. I, I love this, man. I want to meet Yeah, him. he's like the Carl Sagan of today's times, basically. Do you he's think so when cool. Brian Cox was teaching Solo all of his masteries, dude, he think this guy's going to become a beautiful RuneScape He's player. like, you know, he's like, he was bro, he was probably sat there thinking of all of the mysteries in the universe. The one that is just unexplainable. Mastered the is the of length of that man's neck sat right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's dirty. That was dirty. Bro. Shit, time out. Bro. I didn't I'm see sorry. that coming, but <laughs> if I had a neck like Solo Mission, maybe I would have. <laughs> so, wait, how do you use uh, the, the. Oh, sorry. You, so, you, honestly, you, his neck's very nice. I would touch it. Not a lot, though. So, are you gonna are you gonna train with, with the uh, the cannon thing? Train with a cannon? <laughs> you know, what? you know, the thing that you, you know that that makes you attack faster. Oh, you're talking about some sweaty enough. strats. Uh, I no, I don't know that. Explain. Oh. You can't say that. No, yo, you're hand. talking about the you know the fucking what do you call that the the RPG? You're gonna use the RPG? Oh, the RPG. Oh, yeah. yeah, of course, bro. That thing kicks it ass. It uses a hand gesture to understand what <laughs> you're talking yeah, can you about. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's like the, entry a limper. <laughs> walking around like killing goblins, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're gonna be pumping him, eh? Bro, right, well, here's the thing. I'm gonna do. F I'm gonna do all of the XP quests straight away, dude. Like I'm going straight in waterfall Hell quest. Yeah. I'm gonna Hell do yeah. the. That's, that's the smart way, dude. Kazadi Warlord, whatever he's called, the fight arena thing. Get like mm -hmm. 37 attack or something. I think I'll probably have 40 attack or close to, if I'm not mistaken, before you even start to train. So, mm -hmm. skimmy. We're getting that first so day, dude. Rice that's, that's will ours. gear us with the skimitar. Is what we train? Is what we're talking about? Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah. Rice cut, man. Listen, yeah. listen. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Listen. Three way I'm gonna, economy. I'm I'm not gonna say my strats, Rice Cat, but if you hook me up on day one, I will hook you up on like day seven. Yeah, yeah, time. no, I think we can have I a three way combo. We need to work you know, together, bro. Strats boys. are like, LMS and Rune Arrows. I just leaked it. Well, I'm telling you, I'll have the GPs. Yeah, you could run LMS in there, yeah. Boys, like, pretty... that, was, that was my entire hardcore group Iron Man plan. Yeah, and like, well, yeah, that's what we did too. <laughs> bro, it was, it was, it was, uh, yeah, and probably because I told oh you about it on the podcast and I was like, it's gonna be insane. No, no, I mean, we were already doing it, like, you know. We're already doing it. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, yeah, yeah it works. I wonder really if they well. disable it. I feel like they might disable it. I don't think they will. Because if they disable that, then what well, they're going to disable? Are they going to disable yeah, Nightmare they can Zone? Disable everything. They, they, no, yeah. no, no. This is the thing that's so exciting about this is that it's, it's just a, it's a new world. Like you can do anything, bro. You can do whatever you want. Like with the exception of like staking. Like just go and oh, have yeah, fun. No, fuck staking. Do, do you know what I mean? Like everything that is in the game right now. 
should hopefully be in this mode. You got LMS, you got um, Nightmare Zone. Go play Castle Wars if you want. Like, I'm not saying that it's all going to be active, but it's all going to be there. You know, I hope so at least. Um, but yeah, uh, do you guys have any more faults or opinions on this update? I think I'm done. I think I said everything. Yeah, well, I was going to say for my most active area, I'm, I almost guarantee it's Lava Dragons, dude. That place oh, is going to yeah. be an absolute mm -hmm. war zone, bro. You're gonna you might even be boy. good off trying to loot the, the remains if you can get it in there. Like, holy. Oh, uh, dude. It's gonna be th brutal. That's going to be camped by a clan or clans. Oh, so. oh yeah. And Rod's going to be over it. Your arch nemesis is, is going to be over it, dude. It, it always is. <laughs> I guess. Yo, the, min, the min squad versus Rod, dude. You know, this. Oh, the, yeah. The like the boys. Reunion. <laughs> this is this is the thing. This is why I don't think Jagex are gonna disable anything. Is because yeah. there are so many massive advantages you can have in so many different if, ways. If last man standing. Yeah, if you know last man standing's huge. If you've got a team, you can take advantage of that and you can camp down lava dragons. They banned it in previous demo modes because it's way too OP. But guess what? Everything goes. Everything right, goes. Team Mint, raid the wilderness. I'll supply you with rune skills. I'm just thinking, like, bro, if I can get my hands on claws and like 87 <laughs> strength, bro, Dude, you're gonna lose I my can claws. Fuck everybody at Rev Caves early Do on. Do not get weeks. smited. He's gonna on, get smited, dude. He's like, if those claws are gone the second you give them to him, dude. Five bulwarks. <laughs> That's Which not is probably our <laughs> dude, as soon as you give those, as soon as you give those claws this and click was... accept, man, just consider them gone. Just. It's but gone, just man. imagine a couple weeks in, I got claws. People are rocking like 75 HP. Not enough food to eat up the fool. They can't teleport out of the damn cave. They dead, bro. I mean, there's nothing other than they're gone. And unless there's yo, like a yo, maybe a dark bow, I'm thinking D claws be the best though. Yo, know, our boy B boy said it best, man. I think people are making too many assumptions on what it's gonna be. We just have to be really go in with our heads high and try to have fun. If you don't like it, it's okay, guys. It's okay if you're disappointed. I think too many people yeah. in this community forget that this this game is not um, life. You know, it can be a lifestyle, but it's funness. It's supposed to, uh, you know, make your brain go Fomo. dopamine time when you're bored. It's supposed to yeah. enjoy it and make friends. You're not supposed to fight on Reddit and argue about XP rates. That was never the reason why RuneScape existed. You just created it. Kill that meta, meta kill, kill that conversation entirely. Just have a good-ass time. All right. Yeah. Also... Fear of missing out, bitches. You better play with us. <laughs> Fear of missing out, bitches. FOMO. I think uh, yep. my closing <laughs> thoughts on it as well are going to be, for the people that are like really annoyed and outraged about this, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry that I couldn't find the tweets that I was trying to find earlier. I spent like a good 10, 15 minutes trying to find it, but there's just way too many comments. But I don't see how you can be upset with something that is taking very little time or resources and it's just, you know, it's literally just a little gamble with very little downside and a lot of potential upside. Like, I could understand it if they spent months, weeks, you know, whatever, trying to work on this and doing all sorts of crazy, crazy code. But, like, it doesn't seem like that's the case. And I've seen from the JMods that this hasn't required many resources at all. If it's not for you, don't play. I, I believe, I believe so. It wouldn't. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, tweet I use it tomorrow, and I'm gonna see if I can get a confirmation because I did see it earlier. I just can't remember where I saw it, but it was uh, it was a really good point put out by one of the J mods. So yeah, that's the closing thoughts. What do you guys think watching the video? Also, please make sure you subscribe. We just hit ten thousand subs. On that note, we are working on getting spot Spotify up and going. We will have that to you guys very soon. We actually have an account, and I'm trying to recover it right now. So it's on me. Nice. 